what do you do when you have a subtraction problem? And basically, uh, it might help you to see this better. If you notice that the, the first number is just a whole number, but the second number is a mixed number. It's got that fraction for the bottom part. Well, essentially, we need to borrow from the 17. So we're going to take 1 away, and that makes it 16 on top. And I'm just going to put the 1 that we borrowed right there, because 16 plus 1 is 17. So this is 1. But we need to make that 1 into a fraction that works with a denominator of 4. So what can we turn 1 into um, that's a fraction with a, a 4 for a denominator? And it's pretty simple. You just make it 4 over 4. Why do I make it 4 over 4? Well, it's, it's, it's what we borrowed, but we need it to have a 4 for the denominator. And now you're free to uh, work out this problem. You know, 16 minus 2 is 14, and 4 minus 3 is 1, and we just keep the denominator of 4. So let's let's try that again. Let's go ahead and, and put this horizontal problem into a vertical alignment here. 6 minus 1 and 2 fifths. What do you do when, when there is no fraction at all? Well, we just borrow, and so that would leave us 1 there. I'm, sco I'm sorry, 5. And the 1 that we borrowed would be sitting in the fraction category. And we need it to be not a 4 on the bottom, but this time we need it to have a, a 5 on the bottom. So 5 over 5 is the same as 1. And now we're free to complete the problem. 5 minus 1 is 4. And now 5 minus 2 is 3. Keep the same denominator. So again, we're just hoping to get you some repetitions. So that way you can see um, how you would handle this situation. And we're going to talk about one in just a moment where there is a fraction up here, but we still need to borrow. Um, but that's, that's going to be okay. Think about what you want that one to become. Hopefully you were saying 7 over 7. My handwriting is getting horrible. And this will be the last one before we get into that new scenario. So just see if what I'm doing you would agree with. And if you can do this part here instead of writing out the 1, if you can do this all in your head and just know that you'd want it to be 24 over 24, feel free to do that. I'm just mainly trying to show you um, what it would take. that fraction I set up here where it's missing. And you know we don't need to write out zero, so really the answer is just 13 24ths. Okay. Now here's the scenario here. You've got two mixed numbers. You don't notice anything uh, odd about that until you finally start doing your uh, subtraction. And you might already have the the whole number's done, but then you go 1 minus 2, and you realize you're going to run into a negative fraction. So to avoid that, let's just back it up, undo whatever subtraction you've done, and let's borrow. We're going to borrow 1 from the 3, make that a 2. And we're going to add this 1 that we borrowed from the 3. This is the one that we borrowed. It's going to be put on 2, the 1 fifth. Now, since this has a common denominator of 5, and this is a 5, we need to make this 1 into a fraction with 5, so that'll become 5 over 5. And hey, 1 fifth plus 5 fifths is 6 fifths. So really, we're subtracting 6 fifths minus the 2 fifths. So I, I wrote it out over here just so I can see it better. 6 minus 2 is 4. Keep the 5. And hey, the 2's canceled out. That became a 0, so there's your answer. Let's take a look at one more here. This is the last one for this lesson. And, you know, at this point, it looks totally normal. We've got two fractions, two mixed numbers. Uh, we need to go find a common denominator. Uh, ask yourself, can I turn this 3 into a 6? Yes, I can. And so that would be 4 6 And let's go ahead and slide that 1 6 out so we can have them stacked right on top of each other, right? 
Well, this is where I realize I'm going to have to borrow. So we go back to the whole number. We borrow one, right? And um, that one needs to be turned into a fraction with a six. So that one's going to be turned into six over six. And then in your head, you can see that six plus one is seven. So we've done all of that work to turn this into seven sixths here. So seven minus four is three over six. Nine minus two is seven. And we're not done simplifying yet. Three six would simplify down to one half.